Well, Universal Display, we're all about OLED. So it's OLED technology, whatever you can imagine about OLED technology. So from a historical perspective, we started off with our phosphorescent OLED materials development. So as we commercialized red phosphorescence, and then we moved through to green phosphorescence, where we added in the host business along with the emitter business, and we've done yellow technology that's used for displays and lighting, and then into light blue, so we're moving across the rainbow of colors. And light blue is used for lighting, and now we're tackling deep blue for lighting and displays. But in addition to the chemistry and device technology and phosphorescence, we've also, from a fundamental invention standpoint, we've always focused since the beginning of the company very broadly on what are the key challenges and new technologies required for OLED to be a very, very uh, powerful technology in displays and lighting. So there's chemistry, phosphorescence, devices, and then also there are technologies we've worked on, how do we extract all the light? Once we go to all the trouble to create very highly efficient molecules, some of the light that gets created by that electrical current applied to the OLED gets trapped with inside the OLED. So you need to create technologies to extract the light. We call that optical output coupling technologies. So we've done extensive research and development in that area. We've also worked on solubilizing our phosphorescent materials and creating solution processed or inkjet printed phosphorescent devices. So that would move us into sort of the manufacturing process technology. And then a really cool area, we've been looking to advance dry printing, dry direct printing of OLED materials and we call that technology of ours organic vapor jet printing. And we've also worked on thin film encapsulation. So once the OLED device is made in the display or lighting, you need to encapsulate it because these materials are very sensitive to being exposed to oxygen or moisture. So we did some basic research out of Princeton University and then integrated into our company of developing a single layer thin film encapsulation technology. So that's pretty exciting also. And as we look at lighting development, we've been working on developing integrated phosphorescent OLED lighting panels where we take all of these technologies and we're looking how we can integrate them together to build a very forward-looking OLED lighting system. So you can see the gamut of technologies we do go across a broad spectrum.